Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and we are going to play with three envelopes today to do um, Allie, the Cockney Crafter. She's doing a what to do with three envelopes, and she said other people could join in. I don't know how often I'll be able to do that, but um, I was able to today because I'm between journals, so I thought that would be a fun thing to do. Um, also, I have a shop share, and this is from Emily at M Ephemera, and I ordered, or I got some digitals from her, but um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you I ordered a few things from her shop as well. And that's what's in this envelope. And then I also have a couple of Happy Mails, so I thought I would do that real quick first, and then we can play with the envelopes. Emily, she sent, she sent me extra stuff. Naughty, because I did not order all this. She has some really cute things though, so I will show you guys what she's got. So, let's see here. There's some old playing cards. These are super cool. Thank you so much for doing that. You didn't have to send extra. If I can figure out how to open them. <laughs> they're probably, oh no, they look different. I was gonna say they're probably all the same, but um, they look different. Okay, here we go. Sometimes that plastic, I can't tell where it starts. Oh yeah, they're all different. Those are cool. <laughs> Look at that zippy zebra. That's so funny. But this is awesome back here and that with the little bunnies. So these are kids playing cards. These are super cool. Look at that. Winter's a snap for baby bear. That's cool. These are great. Thank you, Emily. I never find cool ones like this. All I can ever find are just, you know, the regular playing cards that you can get really anywhere. And um, I really don't find that many vintage ones to begin with around here. I just don't think we have a ton of... I mean, we have antique stores, but for whatever reason, there isn't a whole lot of paper type things. All right, that's awesome. And then what's in here? Oh, this is super cool. Some of these things I didn't see, or I, she has quite a, quite a bit of stuff, so um, I probably did look through it all, but just sometimes you get overwhelmed and you pick a couple of things, you know? <laughs> so these little tiny, oh my gosh, these are adorable. Little cards and little tiny envelopes. Aren't those the cutest things? Oh my goodness. Aiden, you gotta see these. <laughs> Sorry, this is right up my daughter's alley. She loves little tiny stuff. Those are so cute. Look at these, look at these envelopes. They're so tiny. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I love those. They're adorable. She sent me extra stuff. She was bad. <laughs> One more in there. Come on. Cameos, very cool. Those are great. And then there's the little, um, you know, hangers to put them on to, if you want to, ah, if you want to hang them. But I like how they're, um, you know, just flat on the back because you could just add them to some piece of ephemera or something. Those are super cool. All right. And then this dried flower inside of, this is old acetate, and then it's stitched. That's very cool. I like that. Thank you. And some old, um, what do you call these, you know, the projector slides. So those will be super fun to play with. And she put some of the like the roll of film in here. Isn't that cool? That will be so fun to put on stuff. That is really cool. Thank you so much. Those are awesome. Awesome. And then some ruffles, which you read my mind. I was going to buy some, and then I'm like, oh, you could make some. And I'm like, when do I have time to make some? <laughs> uh. I was trying to talk my daughter into making these. 
But this is a uh, vintage fabric too. That's super cool. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You went way overboard. Way too much stuff. Here's some more ruffles. And some lace and an applique. Which is super cool. That is really neat. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's something that I need to go looking for is like wedding dresses at the thrift store or something. That's a pretty, pretty cut lavender. And this is all, I think that's tatting. That's really cool. Trim. Thank you. And lace. Beautiful. My goodness. Look at that. So pretty. Thank you so much. Ruffly. Oh, this is like a whole long ruffle. Very cool. So you can cut it wherever to add, you know, if you just want that much of it. That is super fun. That's really pretty fabric. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you see them. Um, like on an Etsy shop or something, it's kind of hard to tell what the color is exactly, but it's a really soft, and I don't know how it's reading for you guys on on the screen, but it's really pretty. So definitely go check her stuff out. She's got cool stuff. And then this one has all kinds of fabric. She does a lot of the... Um, you know, torn frayed fabric so that you can just use it wherever and you don't have to fray it yourself. I always wonder if people are just like covered in that strings or what, because I just do some little projects with it and I have string everywhere. But yeah, super pretty fabric. I like that a lot. Oops, it goes this way. Not pretty? Very pretty. One. So soft. That's what I love about um, vintage fabric is it's just so soft. And some pretty purple flowers. I like that. And the beautiful blue. Is that the same as the ruffles? Yeah. So it's this fabric. It's so pretty. I'll probably definitely be using those in my next journal. And this nice peachy colored lace and this trim. This is fun. It almost feels like paper. It's kind of stiff, you know? And so you could just snip off a piece of it, almost like washi tape or something. That would be fun to play with. And this really pretty creamy colored with peach and blue and yellow. It's very pretty. And this is more of the almost papery feeling. That's really cool because you could use it just like washi tape in this one too. Very neat. I don't think I've seen, you know, I don't have a whole lot of um, experience with fabric and stuff. I've really just started that since I've started junk journals. But that is really neat. This is more of it. See, it really, it almost sounds like paper too, but it's fabric. You guys all probably know exactly what it is. <laughs> You're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That is so awesome. Oh, and here's her card. I have to make sure I don't see any. Okay. I just don't want addresses because I've done that before, and then I have to go back and fuzz it all out. This is, I ordered these two things, and she sent me all this other stuff. <laughs> That was, that was overboard, but I want to show you her card. So it's Emma Ephemera. Oops, you probably can't see because my light. Oh no, it's too much. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second. So she's got her Etsy and her YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll put it in my description box, so it's not like, if you can't see that, because I know it's tiny. But um, yeah, I will do that. But I got these, uh, they're like little vouchers, but I just thought they were super neat looking.
They're just so, I don't know. I just love stuff like this. So aren't those neat? It's just the writing on them and then the, the designs and the corners. It's uh, prepaid to mail, pa mail pouch tobacco company. <laughs> They're just, I just love the look of them, but I just thought they would look really neat on some piece of ephemera. So I, I got those. And then um, the first day cover envelopes. Because I thought they would be really fun to like alter and do some stuff with. I've seen other people use these. I've never had any myself, but they're really fun, I think, with the first day stamp on there. They're really cool. Like, I mean, you almost don't want to alter them because they're just so neat. Look at that. That is awesome. So, yeah, look at those. Aren't they cool? Ah, Einstein, that's awesome. My sister liked that one. <laughs> Very cool. Those are awesome. I'm very happy with that purchase. Oh, brownie ice cream sandwiches. Those are great bags. They're all textured. They're almost like a snake skin texture or something. I don't know. That's all, all I can think of. I don't know if you guys can see the texture, but it's, it's cool. If I turn them over. Texture. I oh, don't know, it's hard with the light. But those are fun. Let's be really fun in a journal. And then there's this. The uh, stamps. That's super fun because you could just use a piece of it, use the whole thing. That's really cool. And envelopes are always fabulous, especially, yeah, these are cool. Like coin envelopes, but big ones. Those are really fun. Thank you, thank you. A human hairnet. <laughs> that is too funny. Bob double strand. This is so cool on the back. All the places you can use a hairnet. That is really cool. Thank you so much, Emily. So it's Emma Femra on Etsy. She just really has lots of very cool stuff, as you can see. So I will set this aside and then I'll have to find little homes for all of that. I love those tiny little cards. Those are adorable. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. That was very kind of you. I really appreciate it. This one is from uh, Didi Farago and this is a happy mail. So let's see, I'm really scared to cut or do anything because I don't want to cut anything. I don't even do anything. Those scissors aren't like the sharpest. Okay. Oh, that is super cool, Dee Dee. I love these handmade things. They're the best. Look at that, that is so cool. The little tiny envelope here. Oh, it doesn't, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just messing everything up here. I guess that wasn't supposed to lift. I thought it was. <laughs> it's just the decorative pocket part. And then there's some really pretty ephemera. Those are really neat. And then these are attached. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, so there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And then these ones are all attached. So that is really cool, but you can take like whatever you put in this pocket and you can slide it into the paper clip if you want. That is neat. I like that. That is really cool. Thank you so much. That was so kind of you. I love that. That's super fun. Ooh, and some really pretty envelopes. Look at those. Beautiful dyeing. How did what did you use? I know she was talking about writ dye. 
I don't know if it's writ or if it's um, like food coloring. I'm thinking writ because that's pretty saturated. That is so cool. Thank you so much, my friend. That was awesome of you to send that. I know you've got a lot going on, so I really appreciate it. It's like extra special. Thank you so much. That was super kind. All right, and this one is from my beautiful friend, Allie, the Cockney Crafter. And I believe this is my birthday present because <laughs> she is so sweet. She's supposed to send me stuff, especially from overseas because I know that it's shipping is outrageous. At least it was the last time I checked. I need to go. I need, I have some things to send her, so I need to go do that and see if it's any better. Sometimes I think they just gouge you to gouge you. Ew, this is cool. I saw this on your videos, Ellie, when you were showing this paper. She got it um, that wraps wrapped up like I think she got a new stove and a few other things and this was wrapped around parts of it. And so that is really fun to play with because you could take pieces of that off for layering or whatever. That's very cool. Thank you. Here's a card from her. Everything's all sparkly. Just like Allie. She's such an awesome lady. So kind and sweet. Oh my gosh, I just love her. Hope your birthday is as special as you are. Aw, you're so awesome. She made that. Isn't that cool? Aw, you're the sweetest. My dear friend Amy, happy birthday, love, Allie, aw. May your day be filled with fun, love, and laughter. So cool with all our ink, all our different colored inks. This is so pretty. My goodness. I feel very spoiled. I will put links to all these ladies' um, YouTubes and or Etsy's. Oh my gosh, Ali, this is so cool. You are so talented, my friend. This is just cool. Let's see if I can figure, if I can do it without messing it up. I love that. You see how she put the double closure and then tied it around like that. I think this is a pocket. A little um, like journaling card there tucked into that little pocket. My son's sneezing his head off because he's mowing the lawn. We went and got him. Um, it's like probably almost three o'clock now in the afternoon here. We had to go get his eyes checked and we got him some um, steroid drops for his eyes. Corrugated cardboard. That looks so cool, Allie. I love this. It's so neat. Is this um, one of the file folder ones that you were doing? I know I watched you do some of them, but this is so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. And then like a little um, clip thing. Is this a, can't tell. Oh, it is a paper clip. There is a paper clip in there. Because she puts um, paper on both sides of it so that it slides over a little bit easier and you don't see the paper clip at all. And she does the same thing with uh, bobby pins, which is really cool. And I love how you left that just open a little bit so this will go on there. Well, I'll, I'll mess with it in a minute. <laughs> and then these are like those tea cards. That one is neat. I love those. And this this coffee dye you did is super cool. She's really good at that. I am not good at coffee dyeing. I mean, I can do it like it comes out dyed, but I can't ever get any good, um, you know, designs and things. I think I'm just impatient and I probably, you know, open it too soon or move it around too soon or whatever. So, 
That is not the skill for me. But those are beautiful with the lace on there. I'm gonna set these in here for just a minute until I can play with it a minute and figure it out. Oh, look at that little fairy. That is so cute. It's just like a little treasure trove of all kinds of little goodies in all these pockets. There's so many. Yeah, Allie did um, a few different ones of these. So definitely go check out her channel for those. Does this one open? I don't want to mess something up. Oh yeah, okay. It's like a little journaling spot. So pretty. At first I thought it was an envelope because of the way it had that and a butterfly. So cool. And a ladybug. Oh, that button is neat. This is just cool. With all the little tuck spots. Does that one come out? So pretty. I love those Tim Holtz roses. They're gorgeous. I think that was fabric from Denise. So, because I have a piece of it too. It went from America to England and back to America. <laughs> that one little piece of fabric right there. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh, this is a cigarette card. Okay. I've never actually like seen a real one. I've only ever seen like copied ones or you know images. That's cool. I like those in tea cards. That is so fun. Man, there's a lot of little spots in this. This is amazing. I think these guys were on the front. And she's got a good gusset on those too. I'm gonna put him in here. And then a little note pad. Yeah, I remember you doing the other one like this. It's so cool. It's so different in person to see these things. A teeny butterfly. I'm afraid I'll lose him in there. I love all those little tiny things. And that one, I did that one already. Okay. Oh, this, what is this? Corrugated cardboard. And then look at, see how she's got like the lace on there? I mean, I know lots of people get it. I don't know if you can see it. But it just looks so cool. That is super fun. Was this one supposed to go outside? No. It goes there. And this goes like this, and that goes around. That is awesome, Allie. Thank you so much. That was plenty, girl. That glitter all came off of that other tissue. Isn't that funny? Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, Allie, you're so bad. Look at all this. You didn't have to send me all this. Oh my gosh, that's so nice of you. These are so gorgeous. Thank you so much. My goodness. And some burlap. That's really cool. It's like got a backing on it so it makes it kind of stiff and it doesn't, um, you know, just come apart. I have that one and it'll all just come apart. These are neat. Look at those. They're super soft. And then this pretty, pretty doily, piece of doily. Those are so fun because you could cut out those flowers if you wanted to. Beautiful. They're in your eye drops. They're on the counter. So pretty. Oh my goodness, Allie. That was above and beyond, friend. Jeez. That is pretty, pretty old like um you know velvet or velveteen or whatever they call it but the color is amazing it almost reminds me of like the um avocado dye the really saturated avocado dye that kind of a color that real um dusty rose color 
It's beautiful. Thank you so much. And then this looks sort of like um, Tim Holtz. It's got the tickets and stuff all over it. That is very cool fabric. So fun. Thank you so much. And this beautiful lace. That is very cool with those flowers. And then this beautiful see-through with all the flowers all over it. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Thank you so much for sharing that. That That's a very cool find. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you, all three of you, so much. I mean, I know I ordered stuff from Emma Femmer, but she sent way more, way more than I ordered. So thank you all very much. That was very kind, and I really appreciate it. And I love you all. Okay, so where are we at? Are we going to have time to play with? Yeah, we got a little time. I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll just get as far as we can. And let me get the glitter off the table here. So nice of you guys. Oh my goodness. It's like, I feel bad. It makes me feel guilty. Are you all right? Or are you dying? I'm not too bad. Oh, good. I was worried. Okay, now that we got some of the glitter gone there, it just all came off of that tissue. Okay, so I have three envelopes here and my glue book. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out, but we're going to try it. So I coffee dyed these, and so I think I want to bless you. <laughs> You guys are probably going to hear lots of sneezing today. <laughs> I'm going to use some of my new Digi and uh, some cats that I cut out since I told you my next journal is going to be cats. And we're going to trace this and see if we can't cover this first. I don't really want the, the, the guy that's on there. I think I'll come up about there. And find a pencil, maybe. It's the only problem when you do something else and then start. I am always a little lost to begin with. Not that I'm not always a little lost, but you know. Well, that was horrible tracing. It's kind of hard when you coffee dye them because they aren't. Um, they want to curl up, you know? They're not the normal way that they would be. I'm basically just going to try to maybe get a little bit straight. I don't know how straight I had it on there though, so that's probably not as important as going from the line to line kind of thing. I hope you're all having an awesome day. It's really actually very nice here, even though um, it's cooled off considerably. It kind of feels good. It's just cloudy because it was, it had to be close to, it was probably about 87 yesterday, close to 90, which seems too early to me for that. <laughs> so it's a little bit nice to have that cool down a little. Not quite, oh no, not quite ready for 90 degrees yet. Not that I ever really am, but it's way too early. So this is my Regal Digi, and I'm just, I want to get this outside part of this envelope covered up. And this flap will come like that. And I think I'm going to cut off one or two of the other ones. I haven't totally decided. I kind of like to leave the bottom one. I know everybody's doing these two down and then cutting the other two off, but I feel like stuff will just fall through after a while. I mean, at first it's probably tight enough because, you know, when those papers are new and stuff, but I worry that in time 
stuff will start to fall through. I really like the look of it because then you can see, you know, the journaling card or whatever that you make for it really well. But I just worry that it's going to fall out. So I don't know. I think I'll probably leave that bottom flat. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do Allie's little what to do with three envelopes. I don't know if it's really a challenge or just, just kind of for fun. I've been watching them, but bless you. She said if anybody wanted to lay along. Okay, what other piece do we want? I don't really want the, the guy because I don't, you know, not really part of this particular thing I'm doing. Should be big enough to go in the middle. Oh well, if I take if I leave that one on, you're not really gonna see the middle, so never mind. Oh, so these envelopes are all just envelopes. Um, like this is a junk mail envelope. Um, I'll measure them in a minute. Sorry, I didn't do any of that. But I'm just using three different envelopes. I'm not using three of the same envelopes. So it can really be any envelopes that you have, and it doesn't even matter really what size they are, as long as they fit into your journal or whatever. Which is probably something I need to think about with this. I thought I'm not crazy about that blue in there, but if I keep that other flap, then it won't. It's not going to make any difference. So this will be the envelope that's in the middle of the other two. And we may just kind of, I might have to skip covering all of them, and we might just have to put them together to get the idea of how they're going to go together. So it was nice to get Theron's eyes checked. I was worried about that. And they didn't call me yesterday, and so then I thought, oh, are they even going to be around to help him with that? So I was happy with this morning when they called. See, this is just stuff uh, that comes with your, you know, trying to get you to get a Visa card or whatever thing. Okay, and that flap we will need. I'm going to cut the other one off and then I'll measure it for you guys. We know what size we're working with here. I will want to cover this top part though because you will see it. Not that these are bad, these little checks. Some of them are kind of cool on the inside and other ones. It just depends on the project you're doing, I think, whether you want those showing or not. And if it goes with what you've got, but I think I might go ahead and cover it. Kind of need this widest part right here. I don't need a ton. those points basically. And I'm not worried about that other side because you're not going to see a whole lot of it. I can rough it a little bit. The top. So 
Yeah, we've had a crazy spring. It just sort of went from, you know, nice to just hot. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Much of that is gonna can scoot it up a little bit. It's really stuck already. That uh, Scotch Create <laughs> it grabs pretty quick and it sticks. Okay, let's figure out what to put on this. I don't think I have enough. Of, well, how much of that's gonna get? Uh, more than we have, huh? Yeah. This one's not big enough either, of course, because of the way I ripped it. I could use that in a little piece of something else. Like this writing would look kind of cool up there. Is there even enough of that? Yeah. That's what we'll do. I'm just kind of putting it to where I can see both points because then I know that it's wide enough. And you might not even see this hardly at all, but that's fine. At least it'll be covered. Um, tearing it now is the interesting part. That didn't take you very long, Theron. Yeah. No, it didn't. <laughs> he always thinks it takes forever. It really didn't take him that long. <laughs> so this is probably really fun watching me do this. <laughs> I'll try to get to the point here soon. I just want to get this one covered because this is the one all the other ones are going to hook on to. Those envelopes are wild shaped. Yeah, it kind of stinks because um, my husband, my son, my daughter, all allergic to grass. <laughs> I just have a heck of a time with the whole grass thing. I just need to fold that one and stop. That's not that. But my son's definitely got it the worst. It wasn't awful, but it's like... Just wants to grab right down and that's it. I'm gonna have to put another little something down there, but that's fine for now. 
you get the idea here. Ah, oh, you can still see right there. Are you guys yelling at me about that? Sorry, I needed a drink of tea. Let's see. I would like to have these are from um, Allie's Papers Past. They're just fun because of the old ledger type look of them. And these are in her Etsy shop. They're really cool papers. Yeah, that would work. I wasn't going to worry about it, but see, I can't do that. So, and since I had to cover that up there, it's the way it goes. These are cool, but that would be cool right there. These are very fun, Allie. And I think I'll just sort of... I don't think I need a ton. Yeah, you don't, you don't even see that hardly. This might be one I have to come back and show you guys when it's done, kind of thing. Because where are we? 42. Just gonna kind of angle it a little. I should angle it this way. To make sure I don't end up. Well, this comes all the way up the side. What am I thinking? Doesn't matter. Yeah, that works better, because then you see it instead of not seeing it. All right, let's get that glued back together. I guess you do need a little bit across there. I thought it would, um, oh, it needs a little bit right there. <laughs> I thought it would show, but it doesn't. Okay, so there's that one. So it goes from that to that. <laughs> I'll probably cut, put something on the back, just something plain, even though it'll get, you know, a lot of it's going to get covered anyway. And then this one I thought would be fun on here like this, but we're gonna cut these off and have this as journaling space, these two spots. So let me get the, the pin in this. I'm gonna cut those flaps off. Need bigger scissors, where are my... Sorry, oh great, there went my scissors all the way down back. So I'm gonna cut these off. I think I might, if I cut from here all the way, I'll mess it up. So I'm going to cut so that these are all even instead of how this dips down right here. I want to make the whole thing even. So I'm just using my little wire on here. Somebody asked me one time why I use my cutter upside down because this is supposed to be up there. And it's just because I can see better what um, the measurements and all that are. I don't really know. That's just the way I use it. Okay, 
that just gives us a you know no odd angles kind of thing and this is already coffee dyed so um it doesn't and it doesn't bother me that it's a different size because see once it's folded and then we're going to decorate this side if it'll even fold like that anymore and put some art glitter glue actually i think i'm going to glue stick that just to make sure it covers the whole area really well And, you know, if you don't get it totally even, it's fine. You don't have to. Because they're all different sizes, so it's not like it's going to make a huge, huge difference one way or the other. So, again, this will be the back. That one's going to go there. Oh, I never measured it, did I? So this envelope is... Uh, just over seven and a quarter. And it is three and three quarters wide. And then this one's, you know, you can see it's shorter. But I wouldn't do... a. If you do a really tall envelope, you'll have to, like, cut part of it off in order for it to sit on a journaling page, you know, so that it's not taller than the journaling page. I'm sure that is obvious, but... What did I do? I had some other things. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I think it works. I just found this on New York Public Library. New York Public Library. I kind of like that up there, but it's not going to all fit. But I could leave the December part on there at least. I mean, it's not December, but it doesn't really matter. It's just the Kind of funny. I'm liking all these really jewel-toned colors right now, and it's not usually at this time of the year you like more of the, you know, springy, summery type colors. wanting to lift for some reason and I think it's just because it's coffee dyed it's like wanting to take off off the page um what was I looking for I, like this. I got this from the graphics fairy I might come up here I, I just really like the 1864 um I'm gonna tear the edge off this because it doesn't need all this extra blue over here
got that to do the blue thing. I never used it, so we're going to use it right now. Oh, I need to put the other envelope on too, but let me just get this covered. tricky to use three envelopes like two envelopes and stuff like that is um, pretty easy but you use three start getting kind of thick you know this is another piece of that papers passed from Allie the Cockney crafter And it's Cockney Craft Shop, I believe. I always forget Ali, I'm sorry, because I just always think it's Cockney Crafter and I have it favorited on my um, Etsy. So I'm horrible about remembering the names. But I, I'll put a link so you'll be able to go directly to her page if you, if you want this. that other envelope on so you guys can at least see how it's attached together because you can obviously decorate it however you want to decorate so let me see and this is just one of those regular little business envelopes the smaller size not the larger size obviously and this one I'm going to seal up and then cut aside so that you can you know like pull something out of it that way didn't need it on that one right there. <laughs> I'm telling you when I don't do it, it needs it. When I don't, when I do do it, it doesn't. We want it glued together, but not glued shut. <laughs> That's no no good. Okay, so now we're just gonna take a little thin strip off of one of those. And you know what, I such a ding dong. I'm telling you, I need brain help. I need this flap to glue it to the other envelope. <laughs> That's how fast art glitter glue sticks. If you're worried about it not sticking. So don't do that. That's a bad idea. I was just so wound up in getting it, um, you know, put together before my time is up here. Okay, so that one is just cut, you know, enough off the bottom so that you can have an opening. And then we need this flap glued to here. And it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back or on this front part because I'm going to cover all of that. In the back you won't see because it's going to get glued down onto whatever page it goes onto. Okay, 
So then we'll cover this, you know, decorate it. It will be a pocket with a journaling card here. This will be a place to write. And then I might put a little something over this because you can kind of see the uh, business envelope information on there. And it's not real attractive. So I might put another little piece of coffee dye paper or something. But I will um, finish it up and then I'll come right back and show you guys what it looks like done. So I'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. I have brown, sticky, gluey fingers. And so I have put some kitty cats on the front and I just stitched a little of that um, paper that Allie gave me with the texture in it. You can't really see the texture super great. It, I thought it would show up better, but um, I don't think I had enough. But it looks kind of cool. It almost looks like wood floor or something. But anyway, um, some fabric here, a stamp there. I didn't make the journaling cards, so we can do that together maybe tomorrow or something. This little spot you can write on right here and you have a cat watching you because that's what they do when you're writing or doing anything. And then this is another nice little journaling spot, another little kitty cat. And then um, we'll put a journaling card here and a journaling card in here. So that is my contribution to the three, what to do with three envelopes. And these are all different size envelopes. And you could, I could have pushed this one down a little more centered, but I wasn't that worried about it because they're all different sizes anyway, so it's not like it um, matters. But if you like it more centered, then do it that way. Um, I hope you guys like this idea, and thank you to Emily and Dee Dee and Allie. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome and um, way overboard, but thank you so very much. And thank you to all my subscribers, and we'll chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye now.